Good morning, Lamb Valley. Those of you who know me know that this past week I lost my brother. Well, he's not lost. He's in heaven. I know that. And But it's very hard for me and for his family because he's with Jesus, but we don't get to see him anymore. And we will miss him so much. It's a very tragic death for us because we depended on him for so many things. He was a wonderful brother and he did a lot of things for me. And I know he was a good father and a good husband. And he was a good teacher and he was a good deacon. He did a lot of things for a lot of people. And I will miss him very, very much. But I was trying to think about what to read in Scripture to give me encouragement, to give me comfort. And so I picked up one of my devotional books by Charles Swindoll, and I opened it to the page called God's Control. So what I want to read to you is the Scriptures that help to comfort me as I grieve the loss of my brother from Psalm 139, 5 and verse 16, it says, Thou hast enclosed me behind and before, and laid thy hand upon me. Thine eyes have seen my unformed substance, and in thy book they were all written, the days that were ordained, ordained for me, when as yet there was not one of them. What I know is that the days that were ordained for my brother for me, for you, for everybody, is in God's control. He's got his hand on that. He loves us so much. He He knows our day of birth, and he knows our day when we leave this planet and get to go live with him if we know him as our Lord and Savior. And then Isaiah 45, 9, Woe to the one who quarrels with his Maker, An earthenware vessel among the vessels of earth. Will the clay say to the potter, What are you doing? God knew that my brother was going to come live with him this past week. I didn't know it. He knew it. He's the potter. I am the clay. Isaiah 46, 9 through 10. I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is no one like me saying, My purpose will be established and I will accomplish all my good pleasure. He was, and still is, in control of all that he has to do in our lives and through our lives. And he was ready to bring Doug home. And so Doug went to live with Jesus this week. And I know he's happy and I know he's complete. That's just hard on those of us who knew him and loved him. Daniel 4.35 He does according to his will in the host of heaven and among the inhabitants of earth, and no one can ward off his hand or say to him, What hast thou done? So we accept the good, we accept what we consider to be bad when we lose a loved one. We accept it because we know that God is in control. And I can trust him. I'm so glad he's in control. I'm so glad I'm not the one. I would be so unwise and so um, unpurposeful. He's intentional. God is purposeful. God is in control. And I take a great comfort in knowing that 